Mike here owns Pressure Washing. I'm going to show you how I estimate and measure roofs and houses for soft washing and roof cleaning and pressure washing. It's something I do when I don't have enough time to make it out to the actual house and I can bid online and it's a good way to get a correct measurement for your quote or your bid or your estimate. So follow along. Also, I'm going to show you or tell you guys a little bit about this Chinese hat. So follow along. Enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? So, all right, this is something I call, or that's called Google Earth. And this is how I measure uh, a roof and, you know, get the uh, square footage so I can estimate it. Uh, this is on my laptop, so, but to be honest with you, it's a little more easier to, to work on a phone. So, if you have a cell phone, I know you can get Google Earth on iPhones and Samsung, so it's in the App Store, get it. And then uh, once you just go ahead and you search an address and it pulls, uh, go ahead to your search, put an address in and it will bring you to a property like this. And there's a measurement tool, so you just click that. All right. And then you're going to drop your pin. So. It's in meters. So I'm going to have to figure out how to switch that. I know on the phone I switched it to uh, square foot, so versus square meters. But yeah, you just drop pins on each uh, corner of the house. Um, I'm going a little quick. You can you can uh, take your time, and you're just going to get... I use this to just kind of get a ballpark uh, number. And uh, there's a couple other things that I factor in. And I'll explain that in a minute. So, and FYI, this is just a random property. This is not a property that I am cleaning. Maybe later though, that would be pretty crazy. This is completely random. All right, so there we go. When you get to here, so I started here, or I started here, dropped it at each corner, and you click. And then when you come back around and you get down to where you started again, it'll say close shape. And when you hit close shape, this will pop up. And like I said, you can do this on your phone. That's how I usually do it. And we're going to switch this to feet. So square feet. All right. Um, let's see here. I'm going to get my calculator. All right, so we got our square feet, 2,600 square feet. All right, now I'm going to do something else that I like about this feature. So we got that number. Remember, 2,600 square feet. You can, you can spin it around to kind of look at, you know, the property. Um, like I said, this is random. You don't, it doesn't really look like there's many uh, plants around. Um... Yeah, it's much easier to do this on your phone. And it does not look like there's any gutters. But the good news is, eh, there's a plant there. Um, there's not, there's no grass. Um, this guy looks like he's a soft washer too. He's got a trailer, a lot of vehicles. I've seen a jet ski. Looks like he's probably a roof cleaner himself. But anyway, so... Any property, um, like I said, I'm going to check out, you know, the landscape. Sorry, this is difficult holding the phone. See, I'm going to pull it around. There's no bushes, no plants. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for like the pain in the ass factor type stuff. So if there's plants, I'm going to raise, I'm going to raise the price a little bit just because it's going to take longer to cover up the plants rinsing the plants and uh it's just it's going to cost a little bit more you know not crazy amount just it's more time which equals more money it's just the way anyone who does any type of work it's just the way it is it takes more time so we got the square footage um we're checking it out it's a single story no gutters not many plants around so um yeah it's not going to be too difficult to clean this one. 
All right, let's see. Uh, right now I'm looking at, and the pitch. The pitch looks like, uh, I don't know, I would say that's probably like a 212 pitch. So I wanted to also show you guys something. So let's see here. This is how, if you're interested, uh, you can go ahead and look at, compare this to the roof. So if it's a steep roof, it's a 12-12 and you know, it gets less steep, less steep. So the roof we're on is probably like a 212 or maybe it's probably a 312, honestly. So I'm going to show you guys how I factor in that. Cause when you do, when you measure the, uh, roof, like we did here, we're just getting the square footage around the building. We're not factoring in this pitch. So I'm going to show you how that's done. And this is something that, you know, I may do here and there, but obviously with, with, uh, practice and doing this, you know, every day you start to really just see a roof and you can, you know, what you got to really add on to it. If it's a steep roof, you add a little more, but here's a little tool that I use to factor. So you can compare, you know, if you got a roof and it's a super steep roof and it looks kind of like one of these roofs, you just kind of see which one it's closer to. And then you go to this uh, thing here. So I said ours was a 212, right? So we're going to take our 2,600 square foot roof around and we're going to times it by this number. If it was a 1212 roof, we're going to multiply it by this number. So if that makes sense. So we're times 2,600 times 1.0035. Actually, no, it was a 312, so we're going to do 1.03. So we had 2,600 times 1.03. So the 2,600 square foot roof with the pitch is 2,678 square feet. And then say you're at 20 cents a square foot for a roof. Boom, 535. So I hope that makes sense, guys. Um, it's just a good way to factor in the pitch. Like I said, when you do this enough, long enough, you're going to just know that you add a little more for a steeper roof. And uh, you just kind of add 1.012 1 for a 212 roof. Or if it's a 1212 roof, you're going to multiply it by pretty much 1.5. But that's a little quick way. I just want to show you guys how it's done. And this Google Earth, you can, like I said, you can get the square foot from the, you know, from the sky and then factor in your own pitch and then look around the house for plants or awnings or bushes or just koi pond, you know, pain in the ass factor type stuff. So you can get your ballpark price and then you can add a little more to it. But yeah, so that's basically how I do it, guys. So I know I was talking to somebody earlier. <clears throat> They were asking about this and I told them, hey man, it's a good idea for a video. So if you're looking to digitally uh, measure a roof or a house, this is the best way to do it. And uh, for a house wash, well, you're going to measure the linear foot around the perimeter. So we'll do... So we know the square footage around the house, but here's another quick way. So that's 236 feet, linear feet around the house, right? A single story house is about 10 feet high. So if you take this number and multiply that by 10, you're getting your square footage of the, of the walls and stuff for a house wash. So hope that helps you guys. Um, like I said, if you don't have enough time to get to all your estimates and you need to do it online, Google Earth is a good way to do it. And this is the way I do it a couple times a week at least um, if I can't make it out to an on-site estimate. So hope that helps, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you next time. Oh, yeah. So anyway, about the hat.
So this Chinese hat, I seen somebody wearing one. I forget who it was. But so I went on Amazon and this was in like February, right? Or maybe March, right before all this, all the stuff went down with the pandemic. And uh, I ordered this and um, I got it today. So it took three months to get here. So it's from China, my Chinese hat, and uh, it came today. So we're in June. So it took like three and a half four months to get here but it's pretty it's a nice hat and it will keep the sun and uh my other hat like this it's not a chinese hat but it's one of those fishing hats it's kind of getting tore up so this is uh gonna be my new washing hat hope you guys like it see you next time